and welcome back to the channel. This is Ian Michael, your friendly developer and uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collection is ready to come out for Christmas. Hitting the deadline like I said I would. I would like to stop this here and thank all the patrons who support me and continue me doing Dreamcast. I'd like to thank Adam Burrell, my artist partner. I'd like to have a cheers out to Mike Rocks, fabulous guy and chap. And I'd like to say thank you to Shiendu and thank you to everyone, including Florin W, who's a great friend and support. And everyone else is mentioned in the NFO. So this is my biggest scene release. Uh, it's five months work. It uses a variety of different dev kits. I have quality contested it on not just one Dreamcast, not just two Dreamcasts, not just three Dreamcasts. Yeah. Oh, he's not going to fall off. Don't worry. Don't worry. He won't fall off. So I'd like to take this time. All links to the project will be in the comments below, not the description. And I'd like to take this time to say thank you to all the Dreamcast scene. This has been a labor of love to give back to the scene, to everything that they give to me. And don't forget that this is Christmas time. Hold joy and peace and love in your heart. And be kind to someone else. And let's move this forward the next year and stop all the division and infighting and, may I say, dullness. So, everyone, let's get to my intro, and then the trailer, and you can go download. Ian Michael signing out, 2022. Thank you, everyone, and I'll see you in a future video. Brought to you by an IMR Technology Production, Dreamcast, keeping the dream alive. Hello, it's Ian Michael, and welcome to the premiere of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Cowabunga Collection for Dreamcast. Let's get into it. We're going to show you the intro and then the menus, and leave it up to you to explore all the games. This here is a world first for Ballistos. This is a FMV texture effect on a fully serviceable menu. You can press A at any time or you can just let it auto do it. So I've quality controlled and tested this on four Dreamcasts. has been left running overnight for 24 hours on the main menu. So let's go into all the menus. This particular eliminator here has been profiled and I'm using SH4 ASM and mathematics 
for the scaling, the intro no longer slows down, and you now have um, near perfect sound and also transparency, so the people are not missing. It runs extremely well. This here, I couldn't make perfect. It runs about 80 90%, and it has to be included, but I'm CPU bound and core bound on this particular game. So it runs the best it ever has on Dreamcast, but it is the weak point of the the collection for me. All these eliminators load and return. If you know what that means, that means you don't get off your chair. They all have a key combo, which if you go to the info viewer, it'll tell you how to use all eliminators. So there's no need to ever use the reset switch on your Dreamcast. That's what the five months is for. And doing all the work that I did on it. Every Eliminator is rebuilt with a protection, memory protection, that flushes and reloads as it loads the main menu. So nothing interferes with each other. This runs perfect, 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 perfect. All of the games have their own BMU icons, every single one of them. This Eliminator I've completely redone. It has full compressed save states and a save state menu. Uh, if you've been following the progress, you'll know. Also in the manual viewer, it tells you exactly how to use it. It also has VMU Manage and Return to the menu. Look in the bonuses here. Since the Spectrum uses the same CPU basically as the Game Boy, I've included this is a uh, shortened release of the coin up. It also comes with CD Music Auto. This is the full version with. CD audio music as well. We go into Genesis. You look, please look down at the VMU all the time because the menus actually change on every menu. They also change on the info loaders, menus, and games. This runs perfect. It now has 44 kh sound. It's using my SDL DreamHell and optimizations. It is based on Tapan's great work. This is the only auto boot version and with 44k hatch sound. This runs perfect, this runs perfect, this runs perfect. All of these return to the menu. Dreamboard 7.2. I've got it loading in under 50 seconds on a CDR. This is the full game. This is uh, my version based on Ripfire's version. It is uh, cut down but fully nice to play. It runs at 60 frames a second. No janky junk here. And this is my own conversion of uh, Turtles Lost in Space I did myself. It is a mini adventure. So you have about 30 or 40 minutes play. Uh, everything works perfect and you can return to the menu. Go to the VHS section. This is the uh, first episode of Turtles. Um, the first episode that come on the VHS Turtle Tracks. It plays perfect. It's in sync. It is VHS quality so don't expect perfect or DVD or something like that because actually the Dreamcast is not capable of it reading from a CDR so this is this is the second episode also runs and you can watch it perfectly it is also in sync and doesn't skip we also have the coming out tour which is about 45 minutes which is hilariously bad so it's worth a watch we also have Ninja Rap and spin that wheel, turtle power, and in the bonuses, we have this Sid remix 
Um, I just like it, so. We have Bad Apple, which plays perfectly. Excuse me, I'm getting a phone call. Hi, <sighs> Okay, that was a call from my mom. Love you, mom. So, as Bad Apple, that works perfect, returns to the video, and this is Super Turtles! It has all the Japanese commercials for Super Turtles, and of course, I just like it, so. You've got hours and hours of gameplay. Um, we'll finish on the um, Super Nintendo to show you how good it runs. This is all this is all being captured directly on hardware. You probably can hear my GD ROM. I have four other Dreamcasts behind me. So every game has this. It also tells you how to use them. Now L O A T I N G L O A T seventeen file animation with intro screen this on any release the intro slows down um, I used SH4 mathematics and FSCAR see no slow intro This is almost three years work. You watch when they scale towards you. The music no longer dips. Music is the highest quality. It's 44kh higher than any released version that you can scrounge around on the internet. You see now he is visible and he goes away before that was broken. See how quick the scaling is? And the fade in and out. And the sound effects. It's actually higher quality than a real Super Nintendo, which does make show up how they sound. See how quick the scaling is? It doesn't dip when it does the scaling. best version all right so we go back to the menu I ask you not to change these settings but you can if you want but you'll just make it worse so exit returns to the menu That's an example. All games exit and return to the menu. And I have run through all of them. Every single menu has been run through three times each. All in a four to five hour period without a crash. This has taken me... Well, I've got some hair left. The Game Boy... Uh, Eliminator has also been optimized and you'll be able to see that how smooth it is when I show you Radical Rescue. Also the NES no longer has any frame skip. The Game Boy no longer has any frame skip. This has full save states, compressed fixed save states look down at your VMU all games have their own custom icon each game 
Same with the menu. This is as smooth as silk now, where it used to be jaggedy. Watch how smooth it is now. It's never been like this on Dreamcast before. I spent at least a month and a half optimizing this eliminator. So, if you hold right trigger and press Y, there is your full save state menu. If you hold trigger and press A, after you've saved, you will return to the menu. I'm going to leave it there and let you play and discover. A warning, if you have a worn GD-ROM drive, you may experience loading problems and crashes. This is not due to the collection. I have tested it on four separate Dreamcasts that are in good order, and everything functions and works in my quality control check. And so, that's about it. Thank you all. Thank you all that support me. Cheers to Adam for being there the last five months and working every day and talking late nights. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. If you'd like to see more projects like this and fund them and collections that are this good, then why don't you pop over and help support me on Patreon like a lot of people do. Thank you to all my patrons. You know who you are. This is for you and for the Dreamcast scene. Ian Michael signing out. I'll see you in a future video. Farewell. <laughs>